Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is in Shabbat, so we should learn about the Purse of the Bow. So, in Purse of the Bow, the people of Egypt were told, were told, the people of Egypt, you will, you were certainly told, serve images of wood, silver, and gold. It is also considered sheep, holy, great, and so sheep that never ate. Many Jewish and many Jew Jews in Egypt served idols too instead of Hashem. That's that is why he commanded them to take a lamb. The Egypt the Egyptian god slaughter it and roast it until it is well done hot. Eat well done and hot. Eat it together with your families to show that you don't to show that you don't believe in Egyptian. Decades. Today, idols are different from when they used to. They are now called idols. They are not called idols. They may be called movies, comics, or TV. By reading or watching them, we turn a little bit more non-Jewish, unfortunately. And we do them a lot. Even I do it. For these ideas they present are not the Jewish kind. They affect our thoughts and stay in our minds. Let us turn to Hashem in thought and deed like the Jews in Egypt. Let's follow their lead and like the Jews in Egypt, let's follow their lead and, and then we will also deserve to be freed. For only if we are a holy people to Hashem, He will, will He send Mashiach. May He come soon, Amen. And in the Pasha Bo, let's talk about the first Maka. Ar Arba, grasshoppers. Grasshoppers were like jumping all over the place here, there, 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 in the beds, and over there, over there, over there, in the closets, over here, everywhere, in the ovens, in the in your pants, everywhere, everywhere. And that was the eighth plague. And and it says there was so much grasshoppers that the ground was no longer visible. They couldn't see the ground that's most grasshoppers. They were. And then after grasshoppers, we have Hoshech, darkness, the ninth plague. It was dark for so long. And it was, it was so dark that the, Egypt, that the Jews were able to steal the Egyptians' stuff. And then after that, we have the mitzvah of Makkah Behorot. Makat Bechorot was the last was the last plague. I definitely the first born. But there's a question. Why didn't Pharaoh die if he was the first one? Why didn't Pao die? Pao was the first born. Why didn't he die? All the firstborns died. They said Hashem wanted Pao to give a chance to the Teshuva. And people in the Midrashim say, after the, the splitting of the sea, Paro still lived. Some say he did Teshuvah even. Some say he did Teshuvah. And that's it.